Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101. I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. The Giants lost to the Dodgers today 5-2, and we, we really see how they're just unable to replicate what we saw them do in, I believe it was the last series against the Dodgers, where they, they just were a lot more successful, won the first game on a walk-off home run. But, you know, not this time. They've lost the first two games. And Jordan Hicks had a bad outing as a starter on the mound. He didn't make it through the fourth inning in today's game. So it's just looked a little more typical of, of what you usually see or have seen in recent years when the two teams have faced each other. The two runs the Giants did score, both came in, were, were driven in by Tyler Fitzgerald. He went three for three at the plate. He hit a solo shot. And then he, later in the game, he hit an RBI single. So the Giants scored two. But that was it. And it wasn't enough to stand up to the Dodgers. And they just haven't been able to get over this whole up and down thing up, up to this point in the season. And it's, it's what they're really looking like is, is swinging back and forth, and I'm just going to repeat something that I've said a little bit earlier as all of this relates to the upcoming trade deadline. The Giants' stance, you know, I, I would still maintain that they're not going to be sellers, but, I mean, we understand, hopefully, that taking a neutral stance is even worse the, the only thing, and I, I don't know if, if some people will be tired of me saying this, honestly, but the, the, the only thing taking a neutral stance at the deadline would really accomplish is maintaining the loyalty of fans who would otherwise be frustrated and stop giving their support because they see that they're still not in contention where, I mean you're neutral at the deadline, you don't do anything, and it, it maintains just some kind of some kind of facade of, of being a contending team. But as far as any real benefit, it does none because the Giants hope we realize they're gonna have to add something. Now I wouldn't have to say this every year if if we saw some change take place at at some point in time. And it's got to happen this year if we want to be looking at a wild card spot. Thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, please leave your questions and comments. You know where to do it. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.